We are pleased to announce that Absolutely Mindy has joined the kitchen staff. Let's just say it'll be a ladle more than you can handle. Thank you. All right, Tori, have you ever been in a, uh, in a pillow fight before? Oh, I love a good pillow fight. Yeah? And uh, when it comes to pillow fights, like, do you have a, a specific move or are any body parts mm. off limits when you're whacking someone with a pillow? And are you always jumping out of bed when you do this? Oh, good questions. Well, as a person who wears glasses, my number one rule is no pillows to the face. Because okay. if your glasses go flying off, it could be disastrous. Do you really need to wear your glasses in a pillow fight? Well, of course, you got to keep your aim, you know, accurate. Keep your eye on the pillow. Okay. Keep your eye on the prize. Well, I have got a story for you that might make you want to book your next trip to the UK. Okay. Because there is a hotel chain in the UK called Premier Inn. They have 800 hotels um, and in cities all across the UK, and they are getting new pillows. Okay, it's called the best pillow ever. They're getting all new pillows. And so you might be wondering, well, what do you do with the old pillows? There are over 300,000 leftover old pillows that they've got to do something with. And normally, they would have to recycle them. Because mm -hmm. they can't just give away old pillows, I guess. I don't know. Right, because so, they could have bacteria or they're yeah. not clean. That makes sense. So do you want to know what they're doing with the old pillows instead? Mmm an enormous, world's biggest, hugest, funnest pillow fight? Well, you're not far off, Tori. In these hotels all across the UK, they are uh, reconstructing hotel rooms into safe pillow fight arenas. <gasps> so we're talking padded walls, extra mattresses, yes! uh, helmets, things like that. Uh, it's just basically a, a pillow fighting pen, or if you will, <laughs> around a bed. You know, like when you go to a, a wrestling... What do they call the wrestling ring? Is it a rink? It's a ring. Ring. You yeah, fight pillow in a fighting ring. rings. Pillow fighting rings. And, uh, and so people can come stay at the hotel and engage in a pillow fight <gasps> with their old pillows. Oh, is this, this is the awesome. most genius idea in the world ever? I have and to say, if I was given the choice between a continental breakfast included in my stay or a pillow fighting room, I would go for the pillow fighting room. Me too, hands down. Uh, hands hands should be down in pillow fighting. Actually, they don't have to be. They could be up or down. Now, there are there's some rules in, involved with pillow fight club. Can you guess what the first rule might be? No talking what's, about it. What's the first rule of pillow fight club? No talking about pillow fight club you got it that is the first rule uh the second rule they say that you must stop a duel if someone dozes off <laughs> you know you're around pillows could get pillows sleepy. might signal sleep you might fall asleep in the middle of your pillow fight if you do the pillow fight is over uh also you may only have one bout at a time so that means i think just two people pillow fighting at one time you cannot have like 40 people in one pillow fighting ring mm. at a time. Uh, also, you might be wondering, well, then how do you crown the winner? Yeah, how do you decide who wins? Okay, so there needs to be a neutral referee for every pillow fight, <laughs> and uh, that person will ensure that the rules of the pillow club, f pillow flight, fight club are followed at all times. Now, each fight will last for five minutes, and you will be scored um, getting points for different parts of the body that that you are able to strike your opponent with your pillow. Oh. So, for example, you might get, um, you will get one point if you get a leg shot. So if you whack someone in the leg with a pillow, that's one point. Mm -hmm. If you whack them in the torso with a pillow, you get two points. And the, the final, how you get five points, i not not a big fan of head shots. Uh -uh. If you whack someone in the head with a pillow, that is worth five points. I think that is a really bad idea. Now, they are giving you, um, you know, helmets to wear. But I guess still, and they're pillows, but still. I could get into this. Again, the glasses could be a problem. I want some of those rec specs then. You know those goggles that you mm. put over your glasses when you're playing sports? Yeah. That, those would be perfect for yeah. Pillow Fight Club. Also, uh, kids and grown-ups can face off against each other because, as the, the, the founders of this Pillow Fight Club said, pillow fighting is one of the few sports that, as you get older, you're still just as good at as you were when you were a kid, maybe even better. 
Mm, no, so, I think kids have the advantage here. They have that low center of gravity. It's harder to knock them over. They're looking from different perspectives. They're smaller. They could fit into little spaces to sneak up on you. Well, you won't know unless you engage in a pillow fight. True. In a pillow fight club. Tune in to the Absolutely Mindy Show tomorrow morning starting at 7 a.m. here on Kids Place Live, Sirius XM, Channel 78.